my dear friends welcome to recycle bin tech channel today we are going to see an huawei it's an uh, 5g router you can see port 1 port 2 port 3 and a reset of button and power socket and today we are going to see how to configure this one this is huawei model ws7001 1500 mbps wireless router today we are going to see how to configure this one as an access point or router or an repeater and wireless router today we will see how to configure those uh, sorry this device and for that purpose i have connected lan cable to the port LAN, uh, port 1 if the the device with the sim card if you uh, going to connect you have to connect it to the port 1 so the router the cable which is coming from the main modem i have connected to the port 1 now i have connected this is like open wi-fi there is no password after connecting we have to log in you can use the ip address 192.168.3.1 this is the default ip to connect this device you can read welcome to Hawaii Wi-Fi AX2. Accept the license agreement. After accepting, click the let's get started. Now we clicked. You can see that two options, Wi-Fi repeater and below you can see configure network setting without network cable connected. So the PPPOE option and DHCP option is there, static IP Wi-Fi repeater. And at present there is some names just uh, remove that everything after that you can see just a static IP in this we are not going to set anything from here also we are not going to clone any Mac filter Mac address in this Wi-Fi uh, you can configure like an repeater just it will show the near Wi-Fi which is available to you at present what now first we are going to configure like an access point in this you just remove the you whatever the name you want you can keep it over there whatever the name whatever the password after create, keeping the username and password for Wi-Fi in the below they are asking for login password and confirm password better for Wi-Fi password and login password use uppercase uppercase lowercase and address so whatever it will be the strong for your device those who are using from outside it will be better to keep three uh, three types after that you can give next next now the device is restarting just wait for some time to restart the router let us wait now the device is finished after that you can just click the next button but the screen will not appear you have to connect the Wi-Fi then only the page will appear for the further settings so now we will connect the Wi-Fi just didn't before it was I tried so that only it's it's showing connected like that now just we connect one more time and here you can see that network connection established and the Wi-Fi is connected now so this is the for access point or uh, router mode connection process now after completing this we are again uh, you can see this whatever the language you can keep it like uh, many language they are provided for this router most of the router it will be like 5 to 10 like this only but this more than 10 is available for the language after all this process again we are going to log in to do the repeater or wireless config like wireless device in this we are going to see some other settings also like mac filter access control that the parent control like that more the options connect to the internet because it is connected already after connecting you can see the my wi-fi which already we had given the username password everything 
so after this process next we are going to see the manage device manage device means one device is connected if you want if more more than more device is connected without your knowledge you can just off from here after that you can see many options here and a network settings you can if you want to change the lan ip you can change from here after that you yeah, just one i do this is the default ip if you want you we can change it after that now we are going to see the wi-fi settings in this 2.4 jets wi-fi invisible wi-fi it's disabled if you want to enable you can enable but if you enable the wi-fi will be disabled wi-fi means the wi-fi name will be disabled so it's like it will be like hidden so you want to manually you want to type the username and password it will not visible for the person outside or for you after that it's in wi-fi access control you want to block the persons you are using uh, somebody is using without your knowledge your wi-fi you can block them and if only particular person want to use the internet you can use like a trust list so that will be better you can put the device mac address to inside now it's an wi-fi re repeater that we will see and after that security settings this firewall and here that is a parent control if the children's and uh, you are not here for a little uh, from morning to evening in your house you want to put the parent control for the children's they are going for unwanted sites and they want to keep some limited time to use the internet you can set the time for this one this and website filtering you can put whatever the website there so it will be better for safe for children's and this is the login password you you can change the login password after that it's a network times this country which we are belongs to there you can keep that country timings so after all these creations now we are going to see the wi-fi in this wi-fi repeater option in this repeater option we are going to use this router as wireless or repeater now the device i we have connected the i have changed the mode so this will re-scan you can see the lan cable which i connected to this router so it's written there just remove unplug the cable now i am uh, now i have unclub i uh, removed that lan cable after removing the lan cable just re-scan it again so it will check the wi-fi which is near available near to you so if you can if you want to connect with the neighbor internet so it will be very easy now we can just uh, rescan one more time so this is the wi-fi after selecting the wi-fi you can enter the password over here after entering the password give next so this router will communicate with the main router saving your settings please wait we have to wait for some times to complete this procedure it will not take more time to if the settings is running time we can directly we can go to the wi-fi settings you can see there the name already in the uh, like a device uh, wi wi-fi name is shown over there so the name you can select here in the wi-fi section just click that one and connect from here you can see that below because the wi-fi network name you can see there the same name only it will be connected now we will select this is the name which is given there so after selecting this again enter the password for the connection just wait give no 
so the Wi-Fi is now connected again you can log into this device if you want to do further any settings to be changed you can do you can see this 2.4 and 5G hertz Wi-Fi SSID is you can see that I mentioned so this is how to do the or configure this device after configuring this device let us see whether the modem is communicate whether the router is communicated with the main modem if it's communicated with the main modem it will show the green color you can see when starting time i have shown you that it's in red color let us see whether that uh, router is communicated or not okay let us see now we can see it's it's in green color so it is connected so if you like the video please subscribe and support we'll see you in the next video bye bye